Hi, this is Dan Watkins with Short Flight Aircraft Completions in Coatesville, Pennsylvania, here to give you an update on our Bell 407 completion. At this point in the completion, all the doors, the interior, and all of the cowlings have been removed from the Bell 407. The first part of the completion is the installation of the Aircom heater and air conditioning system. The kits come very well packaged with everything shrink wrapped and labeled. The heating system runs bleed air from the engine to the cockpit and cabin. Shown here are the orange heater lines run underneath the pilot and co-pilot cockpit seats. The air conditioner, compressor, condenser, and blower units are all in the aft section of the helicopter. The orange lines seen here bring the AC forward into the cockpit. The evaporator and the blower for the cabin environmental system is installed in the aft section of the fuselage. The baggage compartment is right below the evaporator and you can see another orange line which is the evaporator condensate drain. Underneath the fuselage, Shoreflight had to cut two rectangular holes to house the condenser and blower. In order to get the condenser in, the skids actually had to be removed from the helicopter. As we zoom into the engine area in front of the aft firewall, we'll see an area where the air conditioner compressor will be installed. On the aft side of the firewall, there are reinforcements required to support the air conditioner compressor install. In order to apply the reinforcements, Shoreflight removed the oil cooler, oil cooler blower, and the engine oil reservoir and finally the forward and aft tail rotor drive shafts. Moving on to the avionics upgrades, the entire instrument panel, including the Garmin G1000 NXI flight deck, is removed from the cockpit. Shoreflight is installing quite a few avionics upgrades, certainly the temperature controls for the air conditioning unit. USB power is being installed in the cockpit and the cabin. The Garmin TAS-800 active traffic system along with pulse lights that are tied into the traffic avoidance system. So when there's an alert, the pulse lights automatically activate. XM weather via the Garmin GDL69AH. Quiet mode, which reduces RPM in noise sensitive areas. The Garmin GRA55 radar altimeter. You can see on the tail boom that the radar altimeter antennas have been installed. The Artex 406 ELT system, and last of all, the Mid-Continent Standby Attitude Module, which provides backup, attitude, altitude, airspeed, and heading information. If you are interested in the completion of this Bell 407, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. We will be posting videos as different modifications are being made. They will be released in the future.